I set off at around about uh, quarter to six this morning and I arrived here at half past twelve. Uh, so that's uh, approximately, uh, well, six hours, right? Six and a half hours. Did a couple of stop, stopped a couple of times for a nap. You know, you got to do that. If you start getting tired, just have a quick nap and you'll feel fantastic again. But, um, yeah, it, it passed really, really quickly. Uh, but the best bit of this trip lies ahead. series of uh, ferries that go between the islands you can actually buy a ticket to go island hopping this trip is two hours long and it's um, going from Ardrossan across to Campbelltown uh, it's about 52 pounds well it says about 52 pounds it's just over 52 pounds uh, exactly uh, you have to be here when they tell you uh, because there's lots of cars queuing for different ferries so they'll just turn you away if you turn up too early um, it's very relaxing, apart from the noise, the constant low hum of the engines. I guess we always find something to complain about. Uh, today they're going to be doing a uh, um, some drills, some emergency drills, and uh, we're not to be alarmed when we see people throwing themselves off the boat onto life raft, apparently, and we certainly shouldn't be uh, jumping off with them. I'll say I'm quite impressed. I've driven across to the other side of the island and I'm just looking for my hotel which is just down the road but my god what a view what a view
Hello and welcome to my first ever wild camp here Well, the valley of Etive, the, the Glen, if you like, uh, very close to Glencoe. Um, the river is kind of like you can see. I should be informed just over there. It's like all pouring down off the mountain. I like look at these mountains up here. Woo! They're amazing. They just tower over you. And I'm right slap bang in the middle. And I found this little spot just here, which I think will be perfect for camping. It's quite a lot of space and it's flat. And I've just got to find the flattest spot where there's no stones. And uh, I think there's even been a little campfire here, which I won't be using. But it's a top spot. I'm very, very lucky to have found it. I don't think I'll uh, make a video of me doing the ins and outs of setting up everything. I'm just going to set everything up uh, and then I'll talk to you again once I've done that. It's just because it's getting late now. It's like 6 p.m. I've had a big, long... Uh, a load of walking this morning. I went to Paul McCartney's farm and that was across quite rough land. Uh, I got like 15,000 steps in, so that's about four or five miles from, for me, that's a lot. Not used to it. So if you don't mind, go watch that on another video. Uh, another, I'll put a link down below if you want to watch that video. Uh, but if you don't mind, I'm just gonna set up the tent and all my bits, of, bits and bobs and get myself something to eat, get cooking. So, let's go. Right, I'm all set up. Tent is in place. This guy rope's just been held by a rock because all it does is keep that flap open there. If it gets windy, I'll I'll use these guy ropes. There's a couple more to put in the side here to pull that out, but not done that yet. Because I've been having a, a bit of a bit of a worry. While I was uh, putting the inside of the tent in, I, uh, I got incredible pain in my uh, the left hand side of my uh, lower back. That could be just to have strained it. It has been sore the last couple of days. Uh, but it could be organ. That's, that's what happens, you get super paranoid. When you're unfit and unwell like me, and you're pushing yourself like this, if, if something isn't right, out of the normal, there's nobody here to look after me. <laughs> so if I st st suddenly start reeling around on the floor because I've got kidney failure or <laughs> some sort of horrible thing, I'm such a hypochondriac, I really am. But these things go through your mind, you know, what if, what do you do? Anyway, I went back in the car, put the aircon on, I took some painkillers and uh, things are not so bad now. I've decided though that I'm going to have some steak, cook some steak, but I'm going to do it up at the car, which is up on the road there. And then I'm just going to have the basics down here, the bed and me. So, sleeping here and tomorrow I'm going to go straight home. I need to get fitter before I do this. I think, I think. I have to say, although I'm going through a little bit of a uh, at the moment, it's all part of it, right? Oh, this is so amazing. So amazing. Look at this place. 